I can't believe no one told me about this resource I'm about to share with you. I found out about it like way after I actually became a pilot. And I don't want you to make the same mistake. There's a gold mine of information here. So I was posting an article over at airplaneacademy.com and one of our riders was doing something on like wake turbulence or something. And he was talking about a particular visual. He said, hey, let's go over and look at the trusty FAC. And I thought, what the heck is that? I've never heard of that. Is it FAC or P-HAC or P-H-A-K? A key. <laughs> AK. Uh, you can leave me a comment down below as how you think it's pronounced. It's definitely not FAA key, <laughs> but I call it the FAC. And I started looking into this and I thought, oh my gosh, this would have been so helpful. And this has been a go to resource for me ever since that time. So, what is the FAC? Well, it's the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. And in the front page, it has this little paragraph that talks about what it is. It says, The Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge provides basic knowledge that is essential for pilots. This handbook introduces pilots to a broad spectrum of knowledge that will be needed as they progress in their pilot training. This next part is really important. Except for the Code of Federal Regulations pertinent to civil aviation, i.e., all the rules and laws, most of the knowledge areas applicable to pilot certification are presented. This handbook is useful to beginning pilots as well as those those pursuing more advanced pilot certificates. Did you catch that? It basically said, okay, aside from all the rules you need to know, which, <laughs> which are plenty as we know, this is basically gonna be most of what you need to know as you are becoming a pilot, which is incredible. So if, you, if we go over here and look at the uh, table of contents, it covers everything from the uh, intro of flying and the history of flying, the history of the FAA, uh, to the principles of flight, aerodynamics, flight controls, systems, instruments, weight and balance, weather theory, airport operations, airspace, I mean, you name it. But it's not just like a little you know, one-page handoff handout, it's a 500 page book. And so you can go look at uh, these individual chapters. I'll show you where to get this in a minute. And it's really, really well illustrated. It's it's not just like a boring uh, government read. No offense F FAA if you're watching this, but this is actually a, a really tremendous resource. And so this is a section uh, that's kind of talking about wake turbulence and things. If we go over to chapter eight, this is talking about instruments and it talks about steam gauges and errors you might face and stuff in that versus kind of the, the new uh, glass cockpit environment. It's all annotated. It reads like a book. It doesn't read like a uh, like a government notice or something. Like it, it really just reads like a good textbook. In chapter 12, weather theory. It's This is actually what I'm going through right now just to kind of brush back up on some of this stuff. It's really well documented, really well animated. This is the stuff on airports and signs and different things like that. But there's way more in here. So it's a gold mine of information. So if you Google for it, there's a lot of paid ways. So just here's Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. You're first gonna see all of these different ways to buy it. And honestly, this would probably probably be a good resource to have on your shelf just to, to, to go turn through and, and look through and everything. But the government actually puts it out for free. It's a completely free resource. And this is the part I think not many people know about. So if you Google this, you're gonna see all the different paid options. But then the first link here is the FA.gov, which doesn't look very exciting. And then you go to this page. This right here, it's almost, it's just kind of a sneaky link. It just looks like a bunch of random uh, acronyms or letters and stuff. If you click on the full, full version, low resolution, here it is. It is linked right here. And I love how it's just like wonderfully like lowercase, like pilot underscore handbook. It was like some intern just happened to label it and be like, I don't know, do we throw it on the page? Yeah, it's up there now. We just linked the PDF. So pilot underscore handbook dot PDF. And you open that and it's gonna take a second to load because it's a massive document. It's 524 pages. Here is the entire book. And so if you wanted to have it printed, you could. That would be more expensive than actually just you know buying it or whatever. But this is an incredible resource to bookmark because you can literally just, just you know control F or command F or whatever and look for things. So if you wanna look through wake turbulence, here it is and you start hitting enter and you're gonna start scrolling through all the different ways and times that it mentions wake turbulence or if you wanna search for pedostatic or whatever. It's 500 pages of so much of what you need to know. And not only that, but if you go to the FAA page here, you have all the table of contents and everything, but on this page, importantly, there, <laughs> this calls top tasks, which I think this is kind of mislabeled. It's basically other really helpful resources. You've got the same digital version of the AIM, which uh, if we go over here, here's here's all 763 pages of it, which if you have a FAR AIM, this is the, the back half of the book, which isn't regulatory in nature, but there's a lot of helpful information, self-defined as the official guide to basic flight information and ATC procedures. You've also got links to the airplane flying handbook down here, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically how to fly an airplane, start to finish. Everything from ground operations all the way through all the different procedures and um, maneuvers you're gonna be doing and then even transitioning to different types of aircraft. It's all right here and it's all downloadable in the full book right here, just as the fact is. Same thing as the instrument procedures handbook. Similar thing, this is a deep dive on all things instrument flying and it's all down here in this oddly named top tasks section is a wealth of knowledge right here. So this is one of my favorite free resources. There's also a free resource and a cool trick that 
actually involves your phone. I recently did a video on it. It takes two minutes to set it up. It's free, and I promise it's something you will use for years. You'll get a kick out of this. So I'll see you over in that video.